Hello friends, welcome to another episode of speedrunning SE2. If you're new to the show, the only rule is that we have to win in six minutes or less. Now, sadly, I just couldn't do a 6-6 MMR Protoss, and I'm just starting to wonder, like, how on earth am I going to pull this one off? I think I'm going to use the best tank push that we used so far, because that's honestly our, our best shot, I think. Now, I did struggle a bit on last week's episode to deal with uh, Protoss players, within six minutes at least. Uh, we played two close games, but we lost them. Today, I really hope we can get another dub on the board against Protoss. As you guys will start uh, accusing me of being a faker. You cannot spread one SE2, Mr. YouTuber. But no, I can. Just watch this. I have to go crazy on Skillish. <laughs> okay, I wonder how many of you guys actually believe me there. But we'll see. We'll see who's right in the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fake... Uh, well, I'm not going to fake an SCV scout. I'm going to do an SCV scout. But then instead of sending it back, I'm going to send it to the proxy location once again. Um, I did this build before. And honestly, it is my best speedrunning uh, TVP build, at least. So I'm going to give it another shot. I'm going to scout at 18. No probe scout yet by him. Oh, there we go. Okay. If, if there's no probe scout, I always feel a little bit suspicious. But this one uh, is just at a normal timing. Die, please. Okay. And then... Shit, I forgot. No, it's marine first, right? Oh, no. I messed up the build. Okay, maybe I have to do something else. Or is it marine first? I actually can't remember now. How did I just forget the builder that I'm doing? Well, maybe it's going to make it even better. We'll see what we end up with. Okay, guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I get it. I think it's, it's marine reactor. Okay, we, we did it properly. Close. Say save, save, guys. Save. I, I, I'm just I'm just making content. Okay, I, I knew I was right all along. No worries, guys. We're on the right track. Now, I hope we meet his probe on the way back. Else it's going to be a bit awkward to proxy. There we go. And he's gone. So now I can come down. I think this is a pretty decent place to proxy. Over here. One thing I'm afraid of is like an early stalker. Because I am I have to play without a bunker when I do this build, obviously. I think an adept scouting here. I mean, that would be a very extreme case if an adept would actually scout that base. But I, I guess we'll see. Let's not jinx it too much. Nothing can happen to us, guys. It's all roses and, and other flowers and stuff. I'm going to move my marines to the front when I have three to maybe catch like an adept there on the ramp. I'm super afraid of a stalker though. If it's not a stalker, honestly, anything is fine. At least. Wait, there's a Roomba next. Are you trying to block my add-on or what? Wait, it's actually going to block my add-on. Okay, better. Imagine if it blocked my tank from like spawning here or something. <laughs> okay, no unit yet from the Protoss. Hmm, what could that mean? It could mean he's actually checking around for proxy. Something Protoss players do sometimes is when they see you didn't play a Reaper, but you went Marine first, is that they then check around for the proxy. Which does make sense, because I feel like a lot of the cheesier builds, they do open with a Marine first. I think I might have to cancel one of my SCVs to be able to afford all the stuff I want. Now, I do need to think about defending a potential Oracle. Gonna wait with that medevac. I want to make the tank first. I feel like I have too much money. Normally, I'm always poor when I do this build. Did I do this build wrong or did I just accidentally do the, the best version of this ever? Why do I have so much money? Why can't I afford my stuff? This is not how it's supposed to go. Normally, I'm actually just like living in poverty when I do these kind of cheeses. You know what? Oh, it is an Oracle. Okay. Yeah, so... What's happening now is that he knows 100% what's going on. And we're going to need a little bit of luck. Remember, we have to win pretty fast. We have to win within 6 minutes. Could actually be a fake Oracle. How much damage did it take? Oh, I didn't pay attention. I think it's real though. Pretty sure that's a real Oracle. So now we're going to make a Viking. First of all. That's the first step. Viking. We're going to pull a lot of SCVs here. I'm going to make one third in the main mineral line. Oh no, I'm scouted. Oh, okay, well this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a tough one, guys. I wonder what units he has behind this. I send my marines at a decent time, so it doesn't have to be too bad. It is possible that he has a lot of stalkers out already, though. You know what? I'm just gonna throw down a scan. You guys come here. Don't be stupid, please. Okay, let's see. This is a really good tank positioning. Oh, there's an immortal though. Not a big fan of that. I'm gonna have to throw down. Uh, a bunker here. 
No, I do actually really have to push forward, remember? Because I only have one more minute left, basically. I think I can maybe save that. No, I don't have time to save that, actually. Is he attacking in yet or not? Oh, is it the only pylon? Oh, no, it's not. He got me. Let's see, he might activate a super overcharge now at any moment. So far, he's defending it pretty well. Oh, here it is. I can target it down, actually. And then we go up here, hide behind the bunker. Let's see, target the bunker on the phoenixes. Let's see, yeah, we... Ah, oh, he has two immortals, actually, guys. Ah, uh, I think Protus is gonna be our nemesis today once again. I already tried hard, but he got us. All right, let's go again. GG's. Please, no Protoss. <laughs> All right, game number two. Okay, so we played against a 6-6 Protoss, and that was looking rough. Well, now we actually queued into Cero. So, uh, yeah, the, the gods of Starcraft are not very kind on me right now, but we're going to give it a shot. I was actually looking at a very interesting TVZ cheese earlier that I really want to try out here. I was watching Cure play in the GSL against Dong Regu, and he did a one base hell battle in. Now, to me, this sounds kind of insane. This is also a very big map, which doesn't make it the best for it. But, you know, what other place to try it better than a nice YouTube video against Sarah, right? Let's, uh, let's see if we can maybe potentially beat the king here. That would be awesome. So what we're going to do... Like, the build is a little bit complicated, I think. But I'm pretty sure you go Rax first and double gas. Then we get one Marine out. I'm not sure if I should be SCV scouting. Like, honestly... Um, I'm actually playing on a barcode, by the way, so he doesn't know it's me. So playing mind games or something doesn't really exist anyway. Like if he doesn't know it's me. So I might as well just, you know, be a little bit greedy. Keep the SCV at home. And then execute the build with, uh, you know, the maximum amount of minerals that I can have. Now when I, when I watched Cure do this, he did some moves that I actually felt like were a bit suspicious. Like he made three marines and a hellion and patrolled them in front of his base. I think the hellion might actually raise some suspicion so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna i'm just gonna build exact the same way but i am gonna hide the hellion now i'm not sure if i need to cut scvs with this build or not like the thing is i'm gonna get a lot of overgas at the start but i'm gonna make a medevac and an armory later at the same time right which cost a lot of gas now let's see if i can actually find um an overlord here is somewhere. Huh? Like, Sarah doesn't usually send his overlords across straight away. But I definitely don't want to let it pass. That would be a, that would be a very bad deal. Like, overlords are actually pretty fast. At some point, they buffed their movement speed a few years ago. And since then, I haven't really been able to catch them anymore. Let's see. Okay, I think... Yeah, no, it's actually going pretty well so far. I just need to make a depot. I think I can actually take one of gas to do that, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I can actually take one of gas for that. And then the Hellion is going to go in the back here. Then after we get um, two more Marines out, I'm actually going to swap that over. Patrol here. Focus on the Hellion production. Oh, okay. Well, I'm only going to be splattered for a little bit. Honestly... Not so bad, not so bad. And then I'm gonna have to make an armory. Now I can definitely see I should it on the gas scout, by the way. If you guys are gonna copy this build, cut the gas, okay? Let's make one more depot. And then I think, honestly, we're pretty good. Okay, we denied that, very, very nice. So that does mean he is suspicious of something, which is not nice. And what I'm afraid of the most is that I do not know where the overlord is. Okay, so this is the next step of the build. You get four SCVs. And you bring them all in the medevac. I know this looks a little bit insane. And they... Oh no, I missed one Hellion. Ah, oh, no guys, I actually didn't produce one Hellion. Is it a disaster? I think it's probably a disaster. But we're still gonna go anyway. I, I still don't know where his overlord was. Like, did he scout it yet or not? <laughs> I'm actually not 100% sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I am definitely missing one uh, Hellion though. Which uh, does kind of suck. Oh, he made a... Okay, he saw me already. Well, I can actually repair my Hellbats. Which means it's not a huge deal, I think. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna get that pretty fast. Now, where are the Bailings? No Bailings yet. He's actually gonna evacuate. Okay. I didn't expect that, to be honest. Come in here, please. No, come in here. Why are my SCVs being stupid right now? 
I can't use this. Oh, he made roaches. Wow, he actually saw this coming miles ago. Okay. Yeah, I just, I just didn't see the overlord, guys. There was nothing I could have done here. GG, we'll try another one. One last game to avoid a triple disaster today. All right, we actually got ourselves a rematch against Cyril. Now, what is the best chance we can do against him? I think I'm gonna do the proxy 4x again. Like we, we legit need like the lowest possible skill build <laughs> to beat him with, to be honest. Um, I, his overlord got us in the first game. For some reason, he had a really early read on it. I'm not sure how his brain is so big. Uh, but he did have a read on it. Now this should be a bit harder to get a read on unless he directly scouts it. Which is definitely possible, but we'll see. Let's not get too negative right away. Man, our lineup of opponents is actually insane today. Skill is zero, zero. Like, don't they want me to win? For my for my beloved YouTube viewers. Tuning in every for the speed run. And they're just here to dunk on me. <laughs> we don't want this show to continue, Mark. And so far, I have been getting stomped a little bit. I think, honestly, last game that build actually seemed like it had hope. Like, his overlord saw me move out, but even before then, he must have thrown the Roach Warren down. I guess technically it is possible that he was all inning himself, right? Uh, because he saw that I wasn't scouting in a Reaper. That would make a lot of sense, to be honest. Yeah, Sarah's just a filthy cheeser. That's why he beat us. Honestly, if Cyril tried a macro game against us, he would have no chance against our cheeses. Like, absolutely no chance. Okay. Uh, do we orbital with this? I actually don't remember. Do you orbital with this build? Actually, no. I don't think you do. 11, 11 SCVs is perfectly what you need. I think I remember that number. I think 11 SCVs is perfectly what you need to, um, to support four barracks. Or maybe it's 9 or something? I thought it was 11. I do have a decent amount of minerals though. Maybe I could pull a few more to attack with. I just hope this is not a pull first. Like if this is a pull first, this build is instantly ruined. I mean, I would still give it a shot, of course. I'm actually gonna wait until 5 marines, like usual. And then we're gonna try and move out. And then as a desperation measure, if we have to, we can uh, pull the rest of the boys as well. There's no links in our natural yet, which is nice. If, if we're lucky, we find like an overlord on the way or something. That would actually be fantastic. No third hatch. Is, oh, okay. There's a zergling. That that makes me a little bit uh, suspicious here. Like maybe he's actually not aware of this. There's the queen. I'm going to go for that queen 100%. He doesn't actually know. Like the thing is, oh no, he actually went down. Oh, he's playing kind of crazy. He doesn't want me to trap his queen, huh? There's a queen here. Probably drones are still with it. Let's see. I'm going to have to play this very careful. So far, it's going pretty well for us, I think. But I can never lose any uh, marines. Okay, killing a lot of drones so far. This is really nice. The one drone flank from the back, somehow. Is it time to pull my worker? I think it might be time to pull my workers, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. No fear. Oh, he left Queen exposed. Okay, that's a lot of damage we got, actually. Another hit. Yeah, it's literally just a micro battle here. Um, honestly, I should be more careful with these Marines because I have all my SCVs coming. Okay. That's a lot of links I'm going to kill here. Yeah, this is really nice. We did it! We actually beat Cyril for a screen one episode. Everything is good in the world. I knew you guys had faith in me. I love you guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. See you again next week for the Speedrun episode. And adios.